I'm Bill Lenderman. Uh, this is one of a series of monthly discussions to be held one time a month on Friday, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. The purpose of the discussions is to provide insights into concepts people may not know or don't fully understand, uh, to correct misconceptions about important issues, and to build a community of wise and thoughtful people who know how to use money as a tool. When this portion of the discussion is finished, I'll open up uh, for people who are able to attend live, I'll open up the discussion to those who would like to participate. In a previous discussion, I was sharing the fact that there are four major areas we wanted to discuss. One is transfers, the other is savings, the other is investments, and the other is gambling. Uh, last time we talked about transfers. We defined it and explained some of the major transfers that take wealth away from us forever. Today we're going to talk about the second thing, and that is savings. And this is a highly important issue that is very much misunderstood. First of all, let me define savings. That's money that's kept safe and fully available for whatever purpose it might be needed. Think carefully about that fact. Uh, a lot of times people ask me about what's the return I get on my savings. Well, that, that's a valuable thing to have some kind of return on savings, but that's not the key issue. The key issue is to have the money safe and available when you need it because when emergencies come, people become enslaved to credit cards and all kinds of problems, uh, uh, payday loans, all those kinds of things because they don't have the money on hand to handle the emergencies. That's far more important than the return on a savings plan. When opportunities come, people don't have any money. So they fail to recognize the opportunities or they, or they have to pass because they can't take advantage of them. Savings are critically important. And because savings are something that be, can be depended upon, savings are one of the primary ways to save for the future if you're thinking about eventually having a passive retirement when you no longer wish to work or when you're not able to work. So. Let me talk about the various ways that people can save that meet the proper criteria of safety and availability. One is just put the money under the mattress. You understand what that means. That's put it somewhere where nobody knows where it is, so they won't go looking. Or where, if they know where it is, it's safe, like a, like a safe or some other means of storage where a thief can't get it. Uh, there's value in putting some money under the mattress. There's always the possibilities that the banks can close in a bank holiday. It's important to have money close at hand. Uh, currently, while we're speaking, a lot of the eastern states are snowed in. You can't get to the bank. Uh, but if you have cash on hand, you can buy the things you need by going to the store with cash in hand. So not only protection against bank failure or sudden emergencies, uh, in, which in which case cash on hand would be very, very powerful. So don't dismiss the possibility of having some cash on hand, as much as you feel comfortable having. And, and don't worry about the value of the money. That's not the important thing. It's there for emergencies and opportunities. The second is honest banking. Understand, since 1913, a full hundred years now, since the inception of the Federal Reserve, which is a private monopoly established by Congress, they have taken control of the American money. It's a criminal activity. Our value of a dollar then is probably two or three cents now. They've systematically destroyed the value of the American dollar and hurt the economy as a result. Honest banking is entirely different. Again, that's where you put money where it's safe and available, but where you can get a respectable interest and where it's no longer taxable and when it's fully available when it's needed. Dealing with honest banking methods, you can enjoy compound interest, you're protected against bank failures. If the money's available uh, for, during emergencies, uh, 
you can take advantage of opportunities, all of which I've already mentioned, and the money's liquid. Having money liquid and available is critically important. Right now, in my view, we are in the greatest depression in the entire history of the world. I have said for years that that depression started in March of 2000. It's 14 years old now, and we may have another five or 10 years in this Great Depression. This portion of the depression is the deflationary phase, where the single most important thing you can hold in your hand is cash, green money. Having money on hand is critically important because when we move to the inflationary phase of this Great Depression, when money becomes quickly less, less and less valuable, you can quickly move that cash into whatever will protect you from the inflationary phase. If you don't have the cash, if you have the money tied up in stocks and bonds or real estate or, or, or pension plans or anything else, you will not be able to, to make the proper maneuvers to protect yourself when we head into the inflationary phase. So honest banking is critically important. Let me deal with the idea of the money losing value. A lot of people say, well, I just don't want to save money because it'll have less value in the future. Well, that's true. But having the money now and the flexibility to protect ourselves uh, in the event of an emergency or to take advantage of an opportunity is critically important and much more important than the, the gradual loss of value that's happening now and has happened since the Federal Reserve came into existence. Now, you say, well, our money's losing value. Well, it is. But if you compare it to the, to the money systems of all the other countries in the world, you're, you're going to get a surprise. Because the American dollar is the king of all monies. It is the standard for the whole world and is the one most used in all of the transactions worldwide. As a result, all other governments are inflating their money, and many of them much faster than the American government is doing so. In a Great Depression, just like in the Roman Empire, when the Roman Empire was falling apart, people flood into the empire for protection and for prosperity when they're afraid in their own countries. Right now, floods of money are coming into America because people are afraid about investing in their own countries. That means that people will be buying American assets, land, houses, uh, stocks, bonds, all kinds of things. And that tends to raise the value of the dollar. So don't be afraid temporarily of the value of the dollar being lost if you put your money aside in a safe place where it's available. That would be a mistake. Again, when there are problems all over the world and, and, and governments are crumbling all over the world and economic systems are failing all over the world, people run to the big dog and like it or not, as bad as our country is financially and, 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 uh, and governmentally, we're still the big dog and that's where, that's where the action will be over the next few years for sure. There's another way to save money safely, and that's money markets. Now, money markets are not as risk-free as honest banking. Now, I'm not talking about regular banks at all. Uh, they're frauds, and, and they're not safe, and at some point they're going to fail. But money markets are a step up in safety, even though there is some risk, because several years ago, the federal government stopped guaranteeing the values of money markets. So you could consider a money market a place to keep money temporarily where it's not likely you'll lose your money. But recognize that a good third of money markets pay zero interest, another third pays something like a tenth or a hundredth of a percent of interest, and a few pay somewhere around one percent. So it's a very temporary place to save money, but much safer in comparison than the banks. There's another way to save money, and now we're coming into a period where this can be very valuable if done correctly, and that is gold and silver. Uh, I'm not trying to make investment recommendations, but gold and silver have been money since the beginning of time, 
and though their price fluctuates because the value of the currency, the, the uh, gold and silver are calculated in fluctuate, the value of the gold and silver never changes, only the price. And so we're coming into a point now where thoughtful ways to accumulate gold and silver would be a very encouraging and important thing to do because the price of gold and silver are way low uh, below what they're actually worth in terms of what they'll buy and they're getting even lower and lower as time goes by. This is a time to gradually begin to accumulate gold and silver against the future inflation which will come. Uh, these things will be highly important in those times. So give me a call we can talk about those things and see if it's a proper fit for, for you now or whether you'd be much better saving the cash and buying these silver and gold at a lower price here in the near future. Uh, there's another way to save people sometimes think about saving non-perishable goods that are needed including foods that are stored in a proper way that they may last 10, 20, 30 years. The value of such a thing is, in emergency circumstances, uh, these things will be immediately available. You don't have to rush to the store and fight somebody for the last loaf of bread on the shelf. Uh, if problems arise, it could be snowstorms, hurricanes, wars, uh, financial difficulties, bank closures, uh, you're not going to be a victim if you have these things. If you buy them now at a good price, surely over time the cost of these same items will go up. And in a backhanded way, you will save a little money. Now, I haven't covered everything involving savings, but I wanted you to have some of the main points. And we'll end this discussion here and pick up the next time with investments and with gambling.